Good morning, modern Stead. It's pretty foggy out this morning. <sighs> 45 degrees out, guys. <laughs> it's like a heat wave for us here in northern New Hampshire. <sighs> I'm loving it. It's supposed to be 65 degrees out for a high today. <sighs> Hope spent the night last night with no sweatshirt on. I'm curious to see how she did. I hear her, so she's doing good. Girl. You want to come out? How was your first night without a sweatshirt on? Huh? Come here. Huh? You're nice and warm. Yes, you are. Come on, let's go get some food. Hope it's not bashful, she jumps right in. Oh, what's the matter, girls? You don't like her getting in your feeder? <laughs> They're like, no way, Jose. I like setting up the camera and doing a time lapse while I do the chores and see what the goats do with Hope while we're inside the barn. Came out of the barn from doing the chores. And look what I found. Figaro, you're crazy. He's like, yeah, I am. I'm gonna leave this camera set up. I'm gonna grab my other camera and we're gonna go do the chores of New York City. It'll be the first time we leave Hope out here alone with the girl. So, keep an eye on it. I went to bring out the water jug for New York City. I went, that's right. We got the rainwater collection system. We don't need to bring out water. Oh, I love it when it doesn't freeze. <laughs> Carol's coming out. Look at all the grass you have out here. Plenty of water. The bucket's half full. I'm supposed to get more rain tomorrow, so that should finish filling up that 55 gallon drum. You goats all getting along. What's the matter, Blossom? You don't like, you don't like Hope being out with you? Oh, well, she just pooped in the feeder. What are we gonna do, girls, huh? I'll have to clean that out in a minute. Come on, Pluto. Since the goats are doing so well, let's leave Hope out for a little bit longer. We got the Kung Fu chicken, ready? Kung Fu chicky. Girls are all looking good. This lady right here, the waterer, her feathers are starting to grow back. She's looking like she did because the roosters must be one of her, their favorite ladies. Well, that wasn't my brightest idea. We better get down to the goat barn. Oh, girls.
Hope you okay. The camera's not though. They knocked the camera over. Uh, ew. Ew. You girls seem to be doing pretty good. I'm gonna go in the house and try to clean up the camera. Figaro. We'll leave you out here a little bit longer, Hope. I feel like a helicopter dad. I've been watching the goats from the sliding glass window and they all disappeared. I want to make sure they're not inside beating on Hope or anything. Huh, what's Hope doing? They're all in the barn and I can't see her. I don't like that. What are you doing, Hope-a-dope? You holding your own? Looks that way. We gotta run out so we won't be home, so I don't trust leaving Hope out here when nobody's here. We're gonna go in. You want your chaff fight anyways, don't you? Yeah, you do. <laughs> nope, right here, hey. You can't eat out of the bag. Here, there you go. Did you steal that yourself out of the bag? Yep. Well, that was encouraging how all the goats acted together. I have to let them out later on when I get back home. This is good. Ah, oh, look at the rain coming in, guys. I don't want to see that today. Oh, it's starting to rain. It wasn't supposed to. Don't want the straw and hay getting wet. This weather does not want to cooperate with us at all this year. Anything good? You're cray cray. Kind of weird looking right here, that hole in the ground. Huh. I wonder what that's caused from. A lot of people say goats aren't picky eaters. They're very picky. The hay that we have right now, they're not enjoying it. So I got some new second cut hay. The other hay we have is first cut hay. They were all out, I don't know, about a month ago. So I got some first cut hay when we needed it. But they're not eating it that good. It's good hay, but they're just not having it. Especially with Willow being pregnant, I want to make sure they have good hay. So we're going to swap out your hay. You want to come out there, Hopey Dope? Come on out. They're fine. Whoa. I think they'll enjoy this hay a lot better. 
think Hope and the girls are making awesome progress. I am amazed at how well they're all doing with each other today. Oh, it's so nice out. 60 degrees. I think it's 65. It says 65 now? Yeah, Holy 65. moly. And we got sweatshirts on. Okay. We actually melted a lot of snow already today. Yep. I made a mess down here bringing the hay down. Nope. You want to come out, Hope? It's nice out. Come on. Come on out. Come on out. It's nice. Come on. There you go. Look at you. No sweatshirt on. You loving this weather? Huh? You liking the weather? You got... What the heck was that? Did you see that? Need to have some seaweed? I'll have to fill that up again. They love this seaweed. I don't know, it might just be groundwater. I don't think that's where our river is supposed to be. No. No. Oh, look at you. Some of it. It's still got a little bit coming over here, but not a lot. Yep. Right there. Okay, Hope, you're on your own for a little while. You think you can handle it? Says, yeah, I got this. Well, Hera. You got your stream running nicely. Are you making a mess? Yep. Is that what I do best? No. No? You got at least something for me to do. The wind could stop a little, but it's good because it's going to help dry up stuff. So. Yeah. Look, the garden beds are getting... You can see them. Huh? How will we know? She fine? Oh, the grass is... Oh, yeah. What did you bring an egg basket? You're like pooping in this Did you one. bring something to clean it out with? Your hand. Gross. Your hand. I don't I guess you should have got me a glove. Oh, watch out guys. I should not stand right there. What's that? Da downwind. You like even being able to get out now, guys? Girls? I can't get over the sunset. This is amazing. Amazing! I don't want to hold your hand on the way back. You don't want to hold my hand? Yeah. <laughs> Smells like mud. Sure does. We're coming, Hope. I'm calling you. I see you. I see you. She's standing in the barn. Oh, yeah. Whoa, I just like. How'd you do, Hope? Ah. That's the plane. Good. The plane. Okay. I'm 
willow sunbathing. Yep. It's my kind of go. Making pancakes. Pancakes. You want some pancakes for dinner? That would not be good. No, oh, Dad. That falls off. That falls off and breaks. <laughs> That's a nice looking egg you got there. Fancy. It is. One glug of vanilla. Don't over mix it. Do you feel like there's 30,000 people watching you right now? <laughs> Don't worry, only 30,000 people will see you get a shell in your eggs. Grind them up. Extra calcium. This is very satisfying. It's very satisfying. Gives nice smooth eggs. They might not be pretty, but maybe they'll taste good. Sure, they'll taste delicious. I can't get over how much snow we've lost just in a couple of hours. It's a lot. It's a lot. Look at that. Look at the grass. There's lots of grass. And look at your pond that you made. 
It is. Going in. In right. It's all like clear though. No. Yep. You think it will be fine? Oh yeah. It's all snow from the yeah, but it's snow not banks. Like over, you want to come out, Hope? Come on. Come on out. Hope, I think you ate enough today. Your belly's getting fat. Just full of hay. You're full of hay. Oh, no. You must have chewed on your sweatshirt. All right, which one of you girls broke your mineral feeder? Are you fighting over the seaweed? I'll have to come out with my drill tomorrow and fix it. Who done did it? It's nice seeing all the goats playing pretty well together. They're not quite there yet. I'm not 100% comfortable leaving Hope out with them all the time, but I'm seeing great progress and that excites me. If my energy level didn't seem 100% today, I did something to my back the other day and it's still bothering me. So I'm, I'm not not feeling the, the greatest right now. Hopefully in another day or two I'll heal up and we'll be back to my normal self. Ugh, I don't like when my back bothers me. But hey, we all, we all have issues like that. So we can't let us get it down. We got to push through it. We got to know. Tomorrow will be a better day. We all need to take a rest sometimes, and that's what our body tells us every once in a while. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us. Even when we have videos like we had today, and it's not 100%, we will get there tomorrow. So thanks for sticking around. I know you guys understand, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.